Hi, welcome. Uh, today uh, we have semi winter, it's sleet coming down, and I really long for spring and summer. So today I'm going to do a dish uh, that's very reminiscent of that. Uh, it's from South America, Argentina, and it's choripan. So, tag along. Well, it's a rather miserable weather today, so uh, it mixes between sleet and, and rain. Uh, so I'm going to start up without too much faffing about. And first, this is as usual, it's getting the kitchen going. So I got myself a stand to make the ground a bit flatter and to isolate the burner from the ground and it's an ordinary coaster in cork uh, that's in, in the good size so that will go in the bottom and get everything out get the burner in place this seems flat enough and let's see do i have any spirit left from last time uh, tiny bit uh, and that won't be enough for coffee so let's bring out some more now that that should be enough and today I'm trying out this one it's an ordinary lighter but with kind of an extension tube so I guess it should become easier to fire up the old spirit burner and yes I must say so I think you live in my mini for now uh, it's not very windy so I'll try to skip the uh, windscreen and let's bring out the food and choripan uh, it's basically you could say an Argentinian hot dog uh, I've done some cheating today. I made much of side things at home before I left because it's things be ma best made in batteries, uh, big batteries, and doing them on site would mean I have very much uh, ingredients to test, to take out and back again, totally unnecessarily. So start off with some uh, mayo, where I mixed in. Chili, anko chili preferably, uh, and garlic, so a chili aioli you might say. And we have a salsa criolla, uh, this is tomatoes, uh, onions uh, with white vinegar and some salt. And last but not least, uh, the king of sauces, it's chimichurri. Uh, and it's parsley mixed with oil. Uh, paprika, chili, garlic, salt and red vinegar. Uh, the recipes for all these will be in the description. So. And if it's highly uh, asked for, I might do them in a separate video just to show you how I do them. Uh, it seems almost like the windscreen are going up anyway. I was too hasty in my judgment, possibly. So with you. I think I brought you along anyway. Like so. And let's get the frying pan on. No plastic inside please. And there should be some oil somewhere, shouldn't it? Or did I forget that? That would be sloppy, to say the least. Uh, there you, are. you were in the wrong container. So, first up, I want to get some. 
roast more or less my my bread for this because I'm gonna toss a lot of sauces and stuff also uh, if you put it in the pan or over the grill or uh, it tends to be a better surface for this and there you can hear the downpour making havoc for me so, let's dry off the plate where I'm going to put it. So, come back again with you. Some more. Press it down. And we're going to butterfly the sausage. So we're gonna slice it through the middle, make two halves like that. Some people they slice it almost through, so it opens up like a butterfly. I won't, because then it won't probably won't fit in the frying pan. So uh, I'll adjust. That looks perfect. I'm going to do the same with the second half of the bun. And it drains all the oil, so let's add some more. Put it in and press you down good. So, and I want to start on this half by Spreading some of the mayo and doing that with the back side of the spoon is, I think, the best way. And don't be stingy with the mayo. And I think that would be the perfect time for this one, almost. Just a tad more in the middle. There we got it. And some more oil and down with the chorizo. Um, I guess you can use any kind of sausage you like. Uh, but for this special one I would recommend uh, a spicy one and it's just barely we can get him down perfect for the mini and the rest of the mayo on the bottom half of the bun like so Now, some salsa criolla. Nice, marvelous. Put that away, and we have the chimichurri ready. Where are we going? This should be a pretty quick affair, I guess. Since we are doing the... The heat flame is going on full throttle now. No simmering. Break it down. Oh. Not quite ready. You are almost done. Get some heat on the other side too. And let's stop the flame for now.
put the sausage at the bottom. Over there, like so. The frying pan goes there. And now, what to make this dish so damn good? A good serving of chimichurri. Spread it and as with the mayo, don't be stingy. Because this is what turns this dish from just good to awesome. Like so. We are ready. Well, let's get ready for a choripan and uh, almost rolling up my sleeves because this one isn't something that you by any stretch of the imagination might consider fine dining because uh, when it's done right it, it will probably uh, run down your forearms mm. But it's totally marvelous. Mm. Get back to you soon. <coughs> well, my table manners may lack a bit, but just that they sang Aerosmith, I don't want to miss a thing. I do have some napkins with me. Uh, I think I'm going to need them anyway, but uh, as, as eating this one went uh, pretty clean, I'm not too unhappy with the result. And as you can see, this it goes quick. Uh, if you have prepared uh, the chimichurri and salsa criolla in advance, um, then it takes bare minutes, but it's so darn delicious. So. You should do it at home or out or even better. Uh, but now I'm going to indulge myself. I brought myself a new toy. Uh, and it's basically a toy I had before but another size. I got myself a new kettle. So let's bring on the coffee. So let's bring out the beauty. You might have seen just a tad of it a while ago when I was getting the towel. But so it's the cooks up and then this one. Uh, I guess it looks very much like the old but this is from a T27 and I thought this would fit absolutely perfect for the Trangia Mini. And as it happens it does. So, perfect for one. So let's heat things up again. And we have a running burner. Let's get some water. Maybe if I put this open it would have kind of got full by the rain in due time, but I'm not that patient, so I brought some more. Just add some coffee. Do it a bit ad hoc today, and then we just wait. And I'll start to pack things up here because uh, this is really a mess. Coffee. Hmm. 
Well, the weather is really turning sour right now. Uh, I was hoping for at least the downpour to stay away, but you can't be lucky all the time. But as the Swedish saying go, there is no bad weather, just bad clothing. So. This one will pull me through and when I'm done with the coffee I will surely bring on the gloves because this freezing and raining uh, kind of makes the fingers go a bit numb after a while. Uh. Mm. Well, my little kettle worked as well as expected. Uh, uh, I would say you can get almost two of these cooksas worth from it. So uh, it would be quite handy when I'm out and about and my lonesome. And the perfect amount for me. And it's a bit smaller and of course a bit lighter. Uh, the difference in weight doesn't really make a, an impact for me but uh, Sometimes size is premium, so a bit smaller one really comes in handy. The only shame is that it doesn't fit inside the Mini. But you can't get it all, can you? Well, it looks like it's gonna pour down real good in a while, so... I'm all packed up and done and just finish off my coffee and then I'm out of here. Maybe I'll find something interesting on the way home, I don't know. But uh, it was a nice outing anyway, even though the weather wasn't the best. Uh, at least I got all the stuff this time. Uh, <laughs> the last time I went out I uh, thought I had the perfect condition. Uh, it was snowy and nice and everything was good and I forgot the part to the camera that it's absolutely vital to make a video. So uh, I kind of lost inspiration that time because walking home, getting it and get out again, uh, that was just in the cards. Not for me at least that time. So uh, I kicked myself for doing rookie mistakes but I guess they, such habits die hard, I guess. So I guess today is gonna be a shorty. I blame the weather. Uh, but if you, even so, think that this video brought you something good, don't hesitate to throw the thumbs up because it helps the video and it helps the channel hugely. And please, your comments. And I think the theme for today, I would say it's, what is your favorite kind of hot dog? Uh, for me, hands down, it's the one I did today. Uh, but what is your favorite? Gives me ideas and probably I have to try them out to see if they actually are better than but I think myself. And if you're not a subscriber already, consider pressing that button and if you hit the bell as well, you get a notification when I release something new and it just might be the kind of hot dog that you suggest ends up in the video, so you don't want to miss that. But until the next time, catch you then, take care and cheers.